Hey, so if you haven't watched my previous devlogs, I urge you to do so since they will provide some context about the game. And if you've already watched them, great, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so it's been about four months since my last devlog, and to be honest, I just got stuck. For a couple months, I really had no idea where to go from where I was in the game's development, and I didn't have the programming knowledge to add new features or improve the ones I already had. Then, using GitHub for version control, I was able to organize my game a lot easier, and with the help of an anonymous programmer, <coughs> my dad, I was able to get a lot more done on the game. I created an event system in Unity, allowing for refactoring of some of the systems I had in place, such as the buttons and the sound manager. This allowed me to focus a lot more on 3D modeling and level design. I modeled a couple pillars, as well as a platform to go on top, and I modeled a rope bridge and some big rock chunks to make a canyon out of. This is how the first tutorial looks right now, and quite frankly, I think it looks pretty good, especially in VR. If you want to, you can go ahead and join the Discord for the game with the link in the description. That way you can stay updated about the game's progress, and you can check out the latest build to try the game out for yourself. I would also appreciate any feedback, but keep in mind that the game is in its very early stages, so it will definitely have some bugs. The level you're watching me play right now is the first movement tutorial for the game, and there will be at least three other tutorial levels after this one to teach the player how to jump, wall jump, and super jump. And honestly, until saying that out loud, I didn't realize how much jumping there is in this game. I mean, obviously I'm aware of it, but I didn't really think about the fact that three out of the four tutorial levels are for jumping. I guess that just goes to show how versatile this movement system is, despite having no button input. Oh yeah, and I disabled leg collisions with the ground, so until I add traps to cut off your legs, you won't have to worry about stuff like this happening. And don't worry, you can still move around just fine without the legs colliding with the ground. In fact, it's a bit smoother and uh, less glitchy. So, that's nice. Uh, the legs don't currently bend, though, but that's just cosmetic, so I can worry about that later. Also, while playtesting the game, I realized that the sliding mechanic would work really well for a VR version of those uh, surf maps in CSGO. So, let me know if you want to see something like that in the future. And that's about it for this video, so make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and hit the dislike if you didn't. You can also subscribe or join the Discord if you want to see more about the game. Uh, Alright, see ya.